grow out of immaturity. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 11. When I was a child, I spoke as a child. I understood as a child. I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. We've been talking about growing up in God. We've been talking about spiritual growth. And we said that it's important for us to be childlike before God, but not childish. And here, Apostle Paul writes about the difference uh, in, in the pattern of thinking, in the pattern of uh, uh, speaking of a child and an adult, even in God, as we grow up and come to a place uh, of, of uh, growth in Him, the way we understand Him, the way we live for God, the way we, we, we minister on behalf of God uh, um, becomes very, very different. And so uh, we must desire growth in God. Now God has kept aside an inheritance, but His inheritance uh, is for those who grow up in Him. Galatians 4 and verse 1 Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, does not differ at all from a slave, though he is a master of all. Isn't that so true about our spiritual walk with God? We've already been blessed uh, with all the blessings of heaven uh, and yet God expects us to grow up in Him. God expects us to be ready and prepared to receive from Him. Now, nobody uh, would, would, would give uh, expensive things into a child's hand, you know, though uh, the child may be the heir of, of uh, every inheritance and possession and yet uh, the parents usually wait for the child to grow up so that there is maturity in handling the resource that is given to the child. And in a similar uh, manner, God expects us to grow up in Him. And that's when uh, we, we are in a better position to, to utilize the divine resources that God has offered to us. And in our journey with the Lord, uh, that, that there is a, a need to constantly keep checking um, if we are growing up in Him or not. You know, uh, how do we check whether we are growing in the Lord or not? Just look at our thoughts, consider our thoughts, reflect on on our priorities. You know, uh, from the time that that we we gave our life to the Lord and we became born again. You know, are we increasingly uh, thinking? about the purposes of God uh, in us and for us. Are we uh, changing in our attitude, our heart attitude? Are we pursuing the kind of character uh, that Jesus had, you know, walking in, in submission to the Lord, obedience, uh, humility, integrity? Uh, what about our uh, lifestyle, you know, is it a is it a submitted lifestyle to God where where uh, we have committed uh, our resources and and you know ourselves uh, to time in the Word and and time in the presence of God. So consciously and continuously, when we keep a check on all of all of this, uh, it, it'll really be helpful to note whether we are making progress. Uh, Ephesians chapter 4 verses 22 and 24 that you put off concerning your former conduct the old man which grows corrupt according to the deceitful riches and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that you put on the new man which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. For, for us to say that we are walking that path of growth you know, uh, uh, we've got to check whether each time uh, in our attitude, heart attitude, uh, we, we are walking as that new man uh, who we have become in Christ Jesus. Uh, and so may our desire always be to go to the next level in God. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we uh, pray this day that Father, you will, you will give us a great desire to grow in you. Lord, we are thankful, O oh God, for all that we have learned and experienced in you thus far. Lord, uh, we, we pray, we pray that each of us, O oh God, will, will grow up in all things, Father, and that Lord will be able to glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.